I hope I don't hit the camera. What's going on guys? Welcome back to In The Bag Disc Golf. What we got today is another one brand, one round. This time, a company that not a lot of people have thrown, not a lot of people have heard about, but I had a request to do it, so I went and got some discs for it. Viking discs. Now, the cool thing about them is they're all Viking related and all the names you know you got Thor and Loki and Berserker and Ragnarok and all these all these Viking names the feel of them is pretty good it's pretty good I don't have any complaints there about them I don't I don't really have any complaints about them at all from Jump Street once we get to the course I'll have a better idea but Let's jump into them, see what we're going to be throwing, go hit the course, get this party started. So first, as you already saw, the Thor. Now, quick little tidbit on this one. When I picked it up online, I did not realize it's an air plastic. Now, that doesn't mean a whole lot, because if you've thrown any trilogy or and of a more the trilogy ones just because it's lightweight and air or blizzard or anything like that does not mean it's understable so we'll see but I picked this one up it's 14502 so it's pretty high speed no turn with some fade I imagine it's gonna be pretty stable even though it's lightweight it's 152 grams that's pretty light, but we'll see how it throws. The next one is the Berserker. Now I got this one because this is more my arm speed. This one's 10, 5, negative 3, 2. It's still going to be a little understable for me. If it was maybe a 12 or a 13, that turn wouldn't mean as much to me because the higher the speed, the more that turn tends to not really matter that much. But I have a feeling this is going to be pretty understable. We'll have to kind of finesse it a little bit. We'll have to find our angle. But we'll see how that goes. Fairway is Cosmos. And this one's 7501. And something's telling me it's going to be stable. It's not going to be understable, but it's going to be stable. I think it'll just go real straight. It's saying that it's got some good glide. Five's pretty good glide. We'll have to see. Now, the disc that I'm most excited about in this lineup that I have, that I picked up, is the Loki. For one, I'm really digging the color. It's not really coming up as much as it is in person, but it's super super cool what I'm most excited about about it is four two zero four this thing is gonna be an absolute overstable meat hook putting approach a utility putter it says that it's yeah utility four fade something tells me that this is gonna be like a justice and I love that because I always beg justice so pretty psyched about that one I picked up two putters because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like. First one I got was the knife because that's what actually my buddy putts with and he loves it. The other one is the rim. I like the numbers of the rune better. I like the feel 
of the rune better except for the bead god oh. i would say i wish they didn't make beaded putters but i know a lot of people love them i know a lot of people don't like them so that's why they make a bunch of different putters but i like the way this one feels in the hand i just don't like that bead but i do like the numbers i feel like it's going to be a long straight putter and that's what i like the knife kind of feels like a p2 kind of it's it doesn't have a bead it's it's got that same that same flavor profile and it feels like a p2 in the hand a, a little more give a different type of plastic this is more like that premium plastic so you, you're not really going to do a lot of putting with premium plastics but i just like the way the black one looked i do not anticipate putting with this i think we're going to be doing throwing with this putter but we'll have to see when we get out there so that's why i picked up two putters let's go out hit the course see how these babies fly wish me luck uh let's see what the berserkers got Well, we got a little lucky through that tree right there, so we should have a putt. All right, so we got the knife and we got the rune. The knife seems a little too stable to putt with, just by the numbers, but we'll find out. Something tells me the rune's gonna be a better putter, so we'll try that first. Oh. I ought to have corrected for that one, put it up a little higher, knew it was going to be more stable. So, can't really gauge that, but we'll go knock out our par, move on to two. We are going to go Berserker again, because we want to go over to the left and work right. Well, I hit my line, I just was way too low. Uh, another another 10 feet off the ground eight to ten feet off the ground maybe and that thing is is out there pretty nice but as it stands right now nothing too great so we're gonna have a long approach uh, we might try our mid-range let's go see we came up short of our usual landing zone which is usually out over there uh, not a bad flight on this thing I just I, I need to throw them a little more to get used to them but we will we got a short little approach or a jump putt so i'm actually thinking that we take the knife and just kind of fluff it out to the right and let it eat toward the basket oh not bad for an approach not bad And that's par. All right, we do have a little bit of headwind, but that's okay. We're still gonna throw the berserker. All right, so note to self. When throwing the berserker, I need to put it on hyzer when I'm throwing full power or anything even close to full power. Um, I mean, we, we got decent distance, nothing nothing spectacular. We're out here actually in the middle of Fives Fairway, but we have a clear shot at the basket. It's right behind that tree. Uh, we're gonna go with the Loki and see what we can get. Loki, it, it, it kind of feels like a justice, so I like that. Whoa. Now that thing's got some dump on the end. I feel like I need to throw that thing hard. All right, long putt.
not not too bad of a putter. Comes out a little weird in the hand because the bead, but flies pretty good. All right, so we know the rune is a better putter for me than the knife. Let's see if it's a better thrower. Or a good thrower, I should say. Oh. So we tickled that branch on the way down. It was looking a lot nicer than it ended up. We still got about 15. All right, so I said 15. I guess that means 25. Get in. Oh, man, that was that was a that was a lucky putt. I'll just say that that was that was purely a lucky putt. There wasn't very much skill involved there. All right, so we got to get left. Uh, let's go with Thor. Um, I got to tell you, even for being air plastic, and this thing is uh, 152 grams. It's super light. This thing is really stable, uh, which is, is the case a lot of times with these air plastics and different brands. Uh, <clears throat> even though it's lighter, it, it doesn't really lose its stability sometimes. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, I hope that it doesn't because this thing's stable. We weren't gonna make it there, that was obvious. It was already flattening out. <sighs> but we would have fought towards the basket. And we just dropped down. So let's see what we got. This seems like a perfect opportunity for the knife. <sighs> I think we might be taking a bogey here. All right, so slightly longer putt than we want. <sighs> Let's try to get this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I really thought we were gonna take a bogey right there. I really did. All right, so let's try this Cosmos. Seems to be like it would be dead straight. 7501. Let's see. Well, if you don't throw it in the air, you're not gonna go anywhere. So, from what I can tell, it is straight, but seems less stable. It seems like a leopard almost. Uh, I'll have to look at the tape, but I don't feel like I threw it on Annie, but it was definitely riding right. So, take that what you will. Looks like another par. We got a real long bit here. <sighs> Just not flying how you think they'd fly, or how I would anyway. Let's try the Cosmos here. All right, so we hit the top of that hill and it bounced. I don't know how close it got. All right, so the Cosmos hit the hill, bounced up. I was hoping for a downhill run. You just get a good roll. We didn't get that. We're gonna knock it down with the rune though. Let's get this bird. <clears throat> oh. 
man. That would have been nice. Glad I didn't use that as my putt. You see how far that thing rolled? Par. How about we go Cosmos again? Because it does seem to be a straight flyer, but it is understable. And I feel like anything else we have, except for our putters and mid-ranges, is too much disc. So, let's throw the Cosmos, but we're going to throw it soft, high, and a little bit of hyzer. Oh! Alright, so that worked out pretty good. We are... I didn't really throw it high, but I threw it a little nose up where it wouldn't turn over. So that's good. Um, let's try this knife again as a thrower, just as a test throw here. Not quite. I threw it a little too high. Let's try the Loki. Okay, I obviously need to throw that Loki much, much harder. We ended up pretty good with the Cosmo shot. Uh, I hope I don't hit the camera. We are gonna throw the Berserker out over the road. Hopefully it turns back towards the basket. All right, so it did stay turned until it started to fade out. We were about pin high down there. A little off to the left. Let's go see. All right, so. We did all right. Let's uh, make a long putt here. Oh, we just dove right in front of the basket. Missed our birdie. We'll take a par. We had a really good birdie opportunity here and we missed it. All right, so Negative one, not bad, not good, decent, more along the lines where I thought I'd be most of the time with this series. Now, with these, I couldn't really connect with a couple of them. Just couldn't find that finesse that I was looking for. If I would have got some field work with them, I would have seen, okay, I can do this, I can do that, this will do this, this will do that. But that's not what I like to do with this series. I just want to get them, take them to the course. If I already have the discs and we go to the course and they're in my bag, of course, I'm going to know how they're going to fly. So I'm not trying to split hairs. But on new companies that I've never thrown, I like to just go blind and see what it's like. So you'll kind of see what some of the videos the ones that I throw more often, I'm putting up negative three, four, sometimes negative five. With these new ones, I'll be hitting those negative twos, negative ones, sometimes even. You just never know. But let's hop into these, see what we thought. Uh, the Berserker. This thing will hold a turn if you throw it flat and hard, it's gonna turn. This thing is understable these numbers I would say instead of negative three two it's a negative four two but if you got some air under it and you got just try to get as flat as you can it'll turn and then fight out and just fall 
you can see like on hole nine I just threw it up high and flat and it started to turn came out kept going forward and then just dropped it didn't it didn't have a big fade it just kind of just dropped so I could see a disc like this going in the bag but I would have to be careful where I threw it but a good disc especially for a beginner if you wanted to step up in your driver game and you're new this not a bad choice not a bad choice the Thor I don't care if it's 152 grams this thing is stable I could not turn this thing over without cranking on it just just can't do it I don't have the arm speed for it you might but then again if you can do that this channel's probably not for you this is for the everyday guy not the big arm I don't see this going in the bag not a bad disc not a bad disc with a bigger arm if I could get it to hold straighter it would it'd be a good disc feels good in the hand nothing it's very flat every everything about this disc I like it's just way too stable for me that's it I'd like to try one a regular one not an air and see if that's more stable than the regular version I'd like to try that the Cosmos I thought this was gonna be just stable it is not it's understable and it says 7501 I ain't buying it I ain't buying it I think this is 75 negative 2 1 this is this is a leopard is what this is this is a leopard not even a leopard 3 this is a leopard you throw in an anvil leopard you throw in cosmos if you like that try the cosmos you'll, you'll have a good time Loki this thing I thought would be a justice this thing is like a justice mixed with steroids and horse tranquilizers and elk piss this thing is so stable so stable I haven't thrown anything this slow and stable since I threw the stego now let's clear it up real fast the stego is more stable than this but not by much not by much this thing is very stable and could make the bag possibly putters pretty much what I thought they were gonna be pretty much what I thought they were gonna be I, 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 I put it decent with the rune once I kind of figured out where it was the, the bead throws me off though I gotta be honest it comes out of my hand wonky and it, it, it comes out too high like I can't I can't get a good putt with them I, they just don't feel good in my hand now the knife it felt better in the hand but when it was going it would start fading out early and that's because it's so stable it's it it truly is a two three zero two so that that's one thing two four zero zero uh, maybe two three zero zero it didn't seem like it had a whole bunch of glide to me but it was it was a good putter but overall it's not a bad range of discs like it's 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 really not it's a very small company it's a lesser known company but they're not bad they're not bad and I, and I tell you what, the Loki might go in the bag. It might. I don't know. I doubt it. Maybe if maybe if I lost my Justice and I lost my other Justice and I lost my other Justice, I'd put that in the bag. It's a lot more stable than the Justice, but maybe if I threw it up against the wall a couple times, it would be a Justice. But as of now, that thing is beef but we hope you enjoyed it make sure you like share subscribe hit the little bell for notifications go ahead and click this guy right here right now subscribe right now check out a couple of these videos you might see a desk you've been looking for weren't sure how it was going to fly now you can try it before you buy it so we'll see you next time on in the bag disc golf